Hello there everyone, welcome back, at long last after the longest hiatus yet in between videos, to a new episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization Revolution. It has been far too long, and again I cannot apologize enough for uh, the hiatus, um, unfortunately this has been a recurring pattern for the last little uh, long while actually, like ever since uh, people have started watching these videos, I get a couple up and then I have to take these long uh, hiatuses because of real life. And again, I apologize for that. But, we're just gonna jump right back on into it. Uh, I don't have a real game plan yet, but, uh, I decided before I started recording this video that I was gonna play as the Japs. The Japanese. Let's see what we can do here. I don't want to go for the science victory that, uh, all- Yeah, I don't want to go for the science victory that I tried to do, um, the first time I played as them. Cause, uh, I actually had to redo that one just cause I wasn't happy with it. Let's see, but so, I don't know what's going to happen here, but it won't be a science victory, I'll tell you that. But enough of my talking, let's jump right back, uh, right back in into the game. A spy? Alrighty. And I like this, I like this a lot. Okay, this is looking nice, I like this. Great start. Uh, let's see. Now that's a bit of an, an annoyance, having uh, what appears to be Gandhi right there. No worries, though. So, let's see. We're gonna sack the spy and get a warrior up. And attack my warriors. There we go. Not one casualty, just how I like it. Just as it should be. Alright. Now let's hit the science. Fifty gold pieces. Uh, let's see. Gandhi is fairly this place very annoyingly because it looks like he's pretty much barring our way. So let's see if there's a way around him. Oh, what am I doing? No, I don't want alphabet. I want bronze working. I want that fish. Alright. Alright, we can get past Gandhi. Alright. Well, how about that, everyone? We capture capital right off the bat. I told you this was a good start. This is how we like to do things. This is it. I'm not taking any pity on that warmonger, on that who is a typically a warmonger, Gandhi, just because he left his city wide open. Amazing that that's what happened. What a way to welcome me back to the game. Thank you so much, Siv. Alright, move on forward, my warriors. Still have not taken- oh, there's a casualty. Soon as I say it, two casualties. There's a caravan. All right, and we know there's another barbarian village now, so let's go and attack that. 
Uh, well, we're gonna have no advantage because of that river. At least as far as attack strength goes. Uh, all right, the Honshu River. I'll take it. That is the alphabet. Pottery is next. All right, ooh, the Spanish are here. I see them down to the south. And the seven cities of gold. Positioned directly to the south of the Spanish, who can get there no problem with a galleon. Well, I got a free city, so I guess it's fair that they get um, easy access to that. And the Fuji Hills. Nice. And now we're going to have a third city. Now where to put this one? Yeah, let's keep exploring a little bit. I could build a um I could build a, uh, build a galley and go looking at those islands that look like they're um, to the north of my territory. But let's see what we can do with the land still. First, we're attacking this barbarian village. Alright, we're gonna have to heal and then finish that one off. Not interested. Again, if I'm moving too quick, I apologize. But, like I said, um, this is just also automatic for me. So I hope you've all seen this in uh, my original Let's Play series in which I went out of my way to show all that extra goody stuff. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon? I mean, um, we can build that now that we have pottery. Man, I am in absolute autopilot right now. I apologize. All right, now what do we have? Uh, let's heal. Hmm. Is there any way? Well, that would be landlocked, but that could get all three. Uh, let's hold off a turn. Just in the off chance there's something waiting in the uh, fog of war there. All right. And just like that, we find another sieve. Genghis Khan of the Mongols. As a matter of fact, I have knowledge for sale. Uh, hmm. I'll give you ceremonial burial for 40. And I'll give you alphabet for another 30. Yeah, sure, what the heck, just take it all. Alright, and Genghis Khan, what do you have? I have knowledge for sale, do you have any gold? Not really worth it, but I will give you pottery. Alright, that gives us a big jump in gold right there. Uh, Alright, we're going to have one turn before that kicks in. Now we have currency. All right, nothing on that side. That's just all desert, but 
even the desert could be useful. Hmm. Not really a useful city, but, uh... You know what? No. I have a better idea. Wait, is that a good idea? Yes, whales right there. I'll just make sure uh, Genghis Khan can't go that way. Alright, so we need to rush our library so we can keep the technology coming in. Uh, wow, the barbarians are on the attack. And, uh, Delhi is my, uh, best city right now, apparently. How about that? I'm still amazed that Gandhi didn't have any, uh, thing built there. Hmm. Alright, so that's coming along. Alright, you're gonna switch over to that. Actually, as a matter of fact, we're gonna use that tile right there. Alright, there you go. Leave my settler alone and attack my warriors, which you have absolutely no hope of beating. Thanks for the free win. Appreciate that. Now that my uh, soldiers have gorilla now. Now let's finish off this village and take what uh, spoils of war we can. What treasures are they hiding away? Another caravan. Now I almost regret uh, sending my thing away, but that's alright. That is A-OK. -okay. You know, let's use this to explore a little bit. And the French are here. So we've identified all of our rival sieves. Keep the science in coming. Keep it on coming. You're gonna heal. You're gonna keep going south, because we want to know where everything is. Uh, let's see. Now, if I build here, I'm on the whale, a courthouse of the incense. And... Is that rubber over there? Well, it's not happening late game, until really late game, so... Let's go for it. Osaka shall be built right here on this spot. There we go. Alright, so now we're gonna send you down here to keep the Chinese... Chinese? What the hell am I saying? The Chinese aren't even in this game. The Spanish! <laughs> Trapped in their little peninsula there. Now I'm trying to figure out where the French came from. They must have a boat. Where did that warrior come from? Unless he's to the south of, uh... Karakorum? That's, uh, one of those... Uh, yet another one of those cities I don't know how to pronounce the name of. Right, perfect. Osaka has a workshop. Now we can take advantage of that oak. Uh, the vastly superior culture of the French has convinced the civilized, apparently, citizens of Ormuz to join their civilization. Alright, then the French are definitely down this way. So they're gonna get some gold too. Everyone got a caravan. Really? 
All right, so how much gold do you have now? All right, uh, I'll sell you the alphabet for 25. And I'll give you a ceremonial burial for 20. And that's all you're getting. How long would it take to get another population unit? Eight turns. Nah, keep it coming. If we're the first to, uh, what do you call it? Um, if we're the first irrigation wall, get extra population in each city. That'll speed some things up. Uh, what do we have there? It's the French. Alright, so up until they expand their culture, we've got the uh, Spanish trapped in the south. And the French have uh, done a number on the Mongols already. So you just dig in and hold position. So are you. That's right, that's all I've got. Perfect. All right, so what's going to come next? Uh, writing? Yeah, writing. <laughs> temples, temples, and a temple. All right. Yeah, just keep it on the temple with that. You're not going to grow fast anyway up until I get um, the whale going. Alright, so apparently, um, what this tells me, tells us is that pretty much all of this landmass is ours now. We have access to it. And no one else really does. All right, mathematics is coming up next. I'm gonna go for hanging gardens. How long would that take me to build? 11 turns. Uh, yeah, you know what that is. Definitely. Yeah, that's worth it. stuff I'm gonna to want to do it before the era changes. I don't think we have to worry too much about that though. All right now we have mathematics. Next is navigation. You're gonna work on the greenery, you're gonna keep uh, building the hanging gardens. And let's see, you'll have that temple coming up in no time. Uh... Sure, what the heck. It's a bad trade, but I'll take iron working. Stay back one because if their culture does expand, Who? 
I was going to build a temple here, but we're going to hold off on that. Because we want a courthouse. Now, how close am I to the era? Okay, well, I can only get one more technology before I'm going to have to start rushing things. And Marco Polo? Alright, so that's for Gould. You know what? We're going to send you to Osaka. I feel like I've been playing this game a lot um, a lot longer than I have. It's only 800 BC. It's still very early in. So I guess we're not going to be rushing anything. I can't think of anything worthwhile. Because we actually don't want the walls. We just want to save up for... Uh... Huh. That's actually an interesting prospect. I could. Nah, just leave it on Kyoto. This will grow itself. More is worthwhile, but is there any wonder I could actually... That might be worthwhile building? Yeah, you know what? The Colossus of Rhodes. You know... Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're doing. Alright, oh, we weren't the first to that. I wonder who beat me to that one. No idea, but uh, that upsets me greatly. Their culture has pushed me back, huh? Alright, you know what? Then let's make a switch. Change a policy. We're gonna steal that great... What is... Oh, okay. Mongol War... Uh, Mongol Legion. And the Spanish have the Ark of the Covenant, huh? Alrighty. Start expanding our sieve. We did that just in the nick of time. We would have lost our spy there. Alright, now we have the Colossus of Rhodes. And let's rush the galleon. There we go. 
Watch there be like some wonder, uh, some ancient artifact right there. All right, let's take that hill. Uh, let's see, if I know him, he's probably gonna try and go this way. Nope, I don't know him. Let's steal your gray person. Okay, well, my capital is unfortunately built, and what could have is uh, interrupting what could have been a really, really incredible city. That is okay, though. Which, as a matter of fact, we'll just switch it up. You know what? No, don't do that yet. You are going to settle in Osaka. You're going to settle right there, Nagasaki, in the north. All right, perfect. Now, in retrospect, building the library there was a mistake. I lost sight of what I was actually going to do. Yes, because you know what? Now I have a new plan. Now I have a new plan. All right. We are going to need gold, and it looks like we're, we will get some once uh, we discover engineering here. Perfect. We'll need that one production, too. You're seriously threatening me? Oh, you're gonna pay for that one. I promise you will pay for that. Nah, not there. Alright, so we're just gonna uh, use the gold to fund ourselves. Well, let's start working on a trading post. Now we've got a barracks. That looks like as good a spot as any. Let's build right here. The, uh, the city of Nara.
right, so where did I... All the way down that way. That's our goal. Seven cities of gold, because we need the gold. All right, trading post, and there is a Spanish army coming my way, so let's get ready to meet them. You know what? Yeah, we'll switch the route to the monarchy. Feudalism's coming next. You know what? I'll save that for later. The, um, all that does is the terracotta, and it uh, gives all my uh, units the scout ability. We don't need that yet. So the Spanish are right there, I believe. So let's get ready. Oh, the Spanish are a monarchy now. Now we have Thomas Edison. And the French are threatening us, but they gave up. Alright, you hold off in the city. do that uh, yeah actually we will do that just so I get the technology a little early oh wait that's probably not gonna work now that he took that Paris is the world's greatest city fudge I forgot if you took that desert square I'd lose a lot of stuff no worries no worries Time to start preparations for what I think I'm going to do here. That's 300 gold pieces. Alright, so three turns I'll have a new milestone. Now I'll make that two turns. Because I'm going to overshoot this one. Get some extra gold. So the Spanish and their little cheap legions. So inferior. So weak, so inferior. Compared to what I'm about to throw at them. One army. Take that back. Let's go get that terracotta army. That actually, uh, that um, I believe that thing, 
I can't remember the, the terracotta statue, not the terracotta army. What am I saying? All right. Bring it on. Bring it on. The Code of the Samurai shall see me through. That's what this title, the title of this video is going to be. Code of the Samurai. Or something to that effect. I don't know. I'll come up with something clever. Or what I hope is clever. March of the Samurai, maybe? I don't know. Unfortunately, this thing is uh, going to die. That's a truth I cannot avoid. Uh, let's see, manage the workers. All right, and now you're gonna make us some samurai. The way it should be. So I'm going to lose the catapult, but reinforcements are on the way. Oh, no, this could go either way. No, nope, no, nope, not happening. Look good for a second there. David? Oh, my lord, the lows just keep getting lower. <laughs> Poor, poor AIs. The French, the Mongols, everyone. This is about to get really bad for you guys. Infiltration. What else? Now, we don't have infinite gold, obviously, but we do need to be able to move fast. Oh, it is the Terracotta Army. How about that? <laughs> I was right the first time. All right, here they come. The Spanish legions. Will it be the Spanish legions or the Japanese samurai that come out on top in this war? Well, we're going to find out right now. Gunpowder, huh? I can already research that. But you know what? We want religion. Those legions lack courage. You cannot match the honor of the samurai. There's three straight victories. Alright, so now we're going to make another special unit. Uh, going to give that march. Hmm. 
Meanwhile, let's start preparing an army to take down the French and the Mongols. What I'm sending down south should be more than enough to beat the Spanish. Let's see, although the French may take some time to overpower with what I have. Vasco Gama, huh? Uh, your threats don't frighten me. As a matter of fact, I laugh at them. I laugh at them. And now I'm coming for you. Alright, so here's where the battle will be held. I've reached my defensive front, and now I'm coming in for the kill. Eh, so do you in Tokyo, in uh, Kyoto, what the heck. Infiltration, perfect. How close. 60 gold, we'll do it. Alright. Rendezvous at Osaka. Alright, Spanish making one last brave front, but is it enough? I doubt it. Let's see, we're going to stick with monarchy for now. Because I want to have this in reserve just in case. By the time I get to the French, they may have built up some serious defenses. So I want to have some ships ready to go to give myself just that little extra boost. If I need it. If I don't need it, then the samurai shall fight on their own. Alright, so the Spanish's last stand didn't really go as planned. Well, at least for them it didn't. Exactly as I planned. Oh, they have a ship there, huh? Alright, and they're making me have to split my forces up. What do we got? Is there anything over here? Yeah, friendly village. March, all right, we'll take it. Uh, what, I can make an army? Oh yeah, because we have that here. Ah, sure, what the heck. As long as we're getting troops. So as a matter of fact, while we have the chance... Let's begin our march against the Mongols. Spanish have a hundred gold now.
Well, that didn't work out. Now let's see what we can do against the city itself. No, we're fighting to the end. You started this fight. Do you not want to play anymore now that you're losing? Admittedly, though, you are pretty well fortified. We may have to be... Uh, we may have to be clever at this. So, let's take a look here. You're swiping that from the Mongols. And you're going all out on Karakorum. Good, that one went well. Not too sure where I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with that. Not really a heck of a lot I can do for now. Yes, I know. Uh, I would be interested in those mighty strong men, but given that my, uh, given how well my armies are doing, I think they're plenty strong enough. All right. I was hoping for uh, an infiltration unit, but Blitz is good. Uh, but Scout is okay too. All right, that's going well. It's going very well, actually. Those isolated units aren't going to do a thing. I'm not threatened by you. It looks like you're making a preemptive strike. Because you know I'm coming for you next. Now the Mongols have fallen. Now we, then the army will regroup at uh, Karakorum and push on into French territory. And here's hoping we can overpower the Spanish. Alright, good start. Oh. 
25 gold? Alright, we'll take it. Because we're going to need a quicker pathway into French territory. All right, I think we're... Wait a second. Can we... Let's give it a shot. There we go. The honor of the samurai, even when wounded, we press on forward. All right, Madrid's falling next turn. Uh, looks like the Spanish might be a little larger than I thought. But Kyoto is now the greatest city in the world. Eight hundred AD. You know, I didn't realize how uh, still pretty early in the game. Obviously, I'm not get. Obviously, I won't be able to uh, finish the. Ah, uh, what the heck is that? Ah, uh, that one achievement. I can't remember what it's called. That we may. Is it that we may? That we may. Uh, that we may live in peace. Yeah. There we go. You know what? I'll accept that for now. Only for now. Because I don't want you running interference on Barcelona. And I don't need to wipe you out completely. Yep, the French have pikemen. This is definitely going to take some time to overpower. Infiltration, perfect. We need all those we can get. And now we march forward. Alright, I don't think we're going to need much more in the way of ground forces. Are gonna need ships though. Where are we? Hmm. Yes, but just not from where I thought we were gonna need them. All right. Switch the governments. Oh, am I affected by that? No, I'm not. I have immunity to that. That's what I thought. The French only have two cities, one of which is the Mongols. Ah, uh, the Mongol city. So maybe this won't be too hard. If we just strike hard and strike fast. They may have some strong units, but it looks like their lines are paper thin. 
except that they do have overwhelming culture. So we don't want too many forces in this. Actually, we don't want any forces in the city at all if we can avoid it. Paris is on the other side of the world, meaning that the only thing that can get there is this way. Right, we'll approach from the south and take Paris from land and sea. This is actually turning into a pretty uh, good length video. It's about to end in one last climactic, uh, climactic battle, if that's what you want to call it. But let's see here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a wall up there. Oh, I can. I was not expecting to be able to do that. Does mean, though, it's going to take a lot of extra time to get ships going. That's if I need them. Okay, 22. Uh, you know what? I don't think I'll need those ships. Wait, why are you... Oh, that's because you're in French territory. So if we want to heal, we have to go into the city. Alright, let's just go right on in. The samurai do not fear death. And waiting until I can guarantee victory might just give Napoleon more time. So let's finish this quickly. I always overestimate the strength of my enemy and underestimate my own forces. Alright, that... I am not going to chance. Let's soften him up a little bit more. You know what? If I can take Paris... this turn... I just realized I could actually still get that that we may live in peace uh, achievement. Oh my god, I did it! And I can actually ask for a technology? Give me democracy, and we will embrace democracy. And that is it, everyone. Victory in 950 AD. With no prior planning at all.
I just beat the game before th uh, 1000 AD. How about that? Well, everyone. Welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization Revolution. Again, I apologize for the delay. And, uh, let's see, you know, there's something else I'd like to make clear here. Um, later on this week, I believe, Civilization VI comes out. Uh, let's see, I'm recording this on Monday night. I believe that comes out on Friday, I want to say, the 21st. I believe that's the correct date. Uh, you know, let me double check that. Let's see, the 21st is indeed Friday, and I believe I read it comes out October 21st. So, I'm saying it right now. I plan on buy I plan on getting Civilization VI, and as soon as I am able to uh, figure out how to do it, I intend to make Civilization VI videos. So you can expect those soon as well. That is it. You know, how do I rank in history? Hannibal of Carthage, right below him, huh? In the histograph? Well, we just kind of crushed all of our opposition. In 950 AD. Hell, everyone. Thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned for more Civilization Revolution, and soon to come, Civilization VI. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.